In this video, Tuck and I are off to meet the Practical Classics team as they drive all around the UK. This will mean tackling the Ellen Valley Mountain Road for the first time. Should be fun. Right then. Go, go, gadget big cam. Oh, we might as well wait for the train to come past. There we go. Not a bad thing to have in your garden. We'll just slow down a bit, just look at this sign. Look, Ryder Mountain Road, that's what we're going on. Just coming down to the village of Comestworth. I hold a lovely little ice steadfod here every year. And Mrs. Hubner has won prizes in the ice steadfod for her Welsh. And Chris in his garden there. He lives in the old schoolhouse. And there's my friend Brefon standing next to a pickup truck. He was the last pupil at that school in 1960. <laughs> I love living here. So this is where things get start getting interesting because you get people, especially tourists, flying towards you on these narrow sections with very poor visibility. There used to be thousands of people living in Cumbersworth when it was operating as um, a mining village. Those times are long gone and we're just about to come and see some ruins as we enter the mountain road proper. So here are the um, old mine buildings, we, the, the last video we took was along this section. Forty miles an hour has never felt so terrifying. Actually that's not true, I once drove an Austin 7. up to one of my favourite bits of road in the world, although probably not in a three-wheeler. scary. Over to the right is the reservoir system that feeds Birmingham. There is a 70 mile pipe from here towards Birmingham 
and uh, the entire system is gravity fed. It's downhill all the way, very, very slightly. Okay, this is the biggest climb on this section. It's going to be hard work. to vehicles. Yeah, where the hell am I meant to go? <laughs> Bloody logging trucks. Fortunately, Tucker does a good line in hill starts. Look, there's a bloody lay-by there. Come on, Chief, out of the way. goes down a bit downhill. Remember I can't downshift but the belt system does um, it's so inefficient but it does actually hold you back a bit so I'm not having to constantly hold the brakes on. I just think an Invercar has ne probably never had such adventures as this. We've been to the seaside, we've been up through the mountains. We have made it to the other side of the mountain. Now we should go to Ryder and find a post office where there are stickers to send out. Kum Dwyfa. Well, I think that's pretty close to how that's pronounced. But yes, stickers still available at hubnut.org. I haven't quite sold out yet. find the post office. Oh, understeer on that drain cover there. The best bit about Ryder is it has this um, clock tower right in the middle of the road. It's completely in the way, really. There we go. Still got oil pressure note. Which is always nice. Right, get rid of the selfie stick for a moment and um, yeah, get some more posts done.
Right, let's try not to die at this junction. Oh, it's all good fun around here, isn't it? What, what, what are they attempting there? Practical Classics boys are about five minutes away, apparently. Ooh, we got a Husky. And a Ford Focus parked entirely in the way. Look at that, two videos on the truck that have featured Hillman Huskies, what are the chances of that? Beautiful. There aren't too many other classics about, are there? Lovely BMW 1602 there, that's very nice. Ah, oh, here they are, indeed. So this is the Merry Convoy arriving. It's fantastic Ami with its new owner. There's a Austin Healy Sprite. MGV. There's Matt George and his Charm 2000. Oh, Fulman James apparently involved with this one. And there's James Walsh in his DS. Right, I'm going to see where they're all going. Jump in their convoy. <laughs> Just having a merry tour of the car park as you do. all this way just to drive around the car park. No idea where we're going to park, just in the middle of nowhere. Or the middle of everywhere maybe. It's very windy, but we've made it to Yellen Valley Visitor Centre and found, look, another blue K plater, um, a Citroen Ami, which I think was bought by a friend of mine some time ago, then passed to another friend who's just sold it to an American who's driving around on this trip, and then I think he's taking it back to America. So that's pretty awesome. Very, very windy, but look, Tuck has her own rally plaque. It won't be staying there. Sadly, I can't join them on the rest of the trip. Oh. Because um, A, it's too windy, and B, um, they're all gallivanting off to um, um, other parts of Wales, and I don't have time. I've got another issue of retro Japanese. I'm getting back in the car. Oh, I've got another issue of retro Japanese to get to print, and it's a bumper sized issue as well. So, um, yeah, I haven't got much time um, for um, doing anything really. So, I've even got a goodie bag. 
a complete guide to the Rover P5 and P6, um, which I noticed sponsored by my friends at Haggerty Insurance. Um, that's good, but I, I, I've had um, a Rover P6 and it ate all of my money. Um, blooming marvellous car though. I also got some cable ties to attach my rally plaque to the bumper or grill. Tucker doesn't have a bumper or a grill, so I might just use them to turn myself into an insect of some sort. So now we're having a quick convoy. They're, they're actually going slightly towards my house, so um, I've left on this slightly awkward angle just so you can see the ammy behind me. I'm on a classic car run in the middle of beautiful Wales in my Invercar. This is brilliant! What a lovely day out! Thanks Practical Classics! What a place! And this is just up the road from where I live. I am one lucky boy. Not quite as lucky as the members of Practical Classics who are getting paid for their day job being driving around here, but I'll take it. I'll take it. How's that for a spot? Oh look, here comes James. Mighty DS. Right. Well there you go. The weather's got all Welsh on us. But the Practical Classics team are heading off up north now. I'm going back home to finish editing my magazine. So I'll um, let you know in the description when that issue goes live. I think there's going to be some fantastic photos of Chuck on her first classic car run. So thank you very much Practical Classics, go and find them on social media, they're on Twitter, they're on Facebook, they're probably on Instagram, I've no idea. And yeah, that's all for this video, I'm going home, time for tea! Well done Chuck! Anyway, thank you very much for watching this latest little escapade with Chuck. Still some work to do before we do Festival of the Unexceptional, but lots of other stuff going on as well, not just Tuck related. So do subscribe to find out what's going on, and I shall see you again in a future video. Farewell! And I'm back home, just in time for the next train, look at that. Oh, I think it's time for a cup of tea.